Breaking news out of Washington. Maine Republican Senator Susan Collins says she will vote to confirm Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson. Collins is the first GOP senator to come out in support of Judge Jackson's confirmation. ABC News senior Washington reporter Devin Dwyer has the details. Devin, what does this mean for Judge Jackson's confirmation? Hey, good morning, Diane. This means that Judge Jackson, the first black woman nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court, will all, in all likelihood be confirmed with bipartisan support, with support uh, from at least one Republican that's very significant given the history of the moment, uh, also a step back from the polarization of the last nomination. Ketanji Brown Jackson had courted Susan Collins. She had, uh, Collins had supported her just uh, less than a year ago for the appeals court. Uh, but there was a hiccup, Diane, late last night. Uh, Susan Collins of Maine, leading moderate in the Senate, asked for a second face-to-face -face meeting with Ketanji Brown-Jackson to discuss what she said were some concerns uh, that came up during the hearing. Uh, but this morning, the, the senator from Maine emerged with a statement saying, uh, in part, that she concluded that Judge Jackson possesses the experience, qualifications, and integrity to serve. She'll vote to confirm her. She says, sometimes I agreed with her, sometimes I did not. That alone, however, she said, is not disqualifying. Susan Collins going on, Diane, to explain that she believes the process has become too politicized and that with her vote, she hopes that she can get the focus back on qualifications, not ideology. Devin, what are the chances she get any other Republican support? Yeah, White House is really hoping for this, Diane. Uh, they have their eyes on Senator Mitt Romney. Uh, this, uh, Judge Jackson met with Romney yesterday. Romney emerged to call her a very impressive person, an intelligent, capable judge, did express some reservations about her judicial philosophy. Um, but, you know, look, just the act of getting Susan Collins on board is significant. Amy Coney Barrett, the last justice confirmed to the Supreme Court, was the first time in 150 years that a member of the opposing party did not support a nominee. Uh, so the fact that Collins is on board is a step back against polarization. We'll see now whether her vote uh, can provide any cover for other Republicans to support her, Diane. All right, Devin Dwyer, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.